Hello, everybody. I wanted to just make a video showing you um, my Etsy sales. Um, don't get excited. It's not a lot of sales, um, but I have two sales that I got like overnight and I wanted to fulfill them and show you a little bit of, uh, show you like how it works and stuff. Um, so this here is my shop, make my face smaller. Okay, so this is actually my shop. Uh, my shop's name is Grand Forest. And honestly, I just put two words together and thought what would be a good name. I could have made something cuter, um, a little bit more towards what I was gonna be making, which ended up being tutus and bows. But at the time I was also like into uh, wallets. And so I kind of wanted a, a name. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's that. Um, already done and I can't really change it so I wanted to show you um, uh, uh, like um, the products that were ordered overnight that's the baby shark tutu and the Christmas um, well it's not really a Christmas bow anymore I need to change that um, but the the red bow so um, yeah so what I wanted to do is I just want to show you how I would package and put it together all right, so I'm going to get started with the bow, and I have this um, head here that measures about 16, 16 to 17 inches, and that's what I use as circumference. So when I make a bow, I do it in the following way. I wrap, and I make sure to keep my surfaces on the, right, on the correct sides. I leave about five inches here and then pull this with bullet facing up and then fold it over. This is the length, the size of the bow. And then I gather the bow in the middle, keeping my finger above the knot. I use this strand that's coming out the bottom to wrap around and it follows my top finger here so it's going to go over and then entirely under the entire knot so now it's coming out the back the bottom side and the more you pull it the tighter the bow will be and then I find my thumb which is right here and I push it to where my thumb is and then I pull out my thumb and there's my bow. So the bottom side, I'm going to have to pull it, twist it and turn it to kind of mess with the fabric a little bit. So, and then on the top, my bow has gathered, it's got the middle knot and We've got the bottom flap here. And you do have to kind of maneuver the bow so it looks, looks right. And so there it is. Just made the bow. It's pretty large head. And the buyer can continue to adjust the bow um, in this bottom. We can just move it over a little bit more. This takes a lot of practice. Okay, so once I have finished the bow, this is the way the bow fits. So now I'm ready to package it. So, oops, this is where I keep all my materials. So I'm going to get the packaging from right there. I'm going to show you what I do. So from Amazon, they sell these in multiple sizes. And so what I do is I just slide it in here. Okay. Just like my favorite part. And then I seal it up. And my shipping envelope is one of these. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to I'm going to actually print um, the shipping label. 